this word appear upside down when it is viewed through a lens? In order to find out, we must first learn how to draw ray diagrams from first principles. When we draw ray diagrams for a point source of light that is passing through a converging lens, we will draw three rays. The first one will travel parallel to the principal axis until it hits the optical axis of the lens. It will then pass through the focal point of the lens. The second ray will travel directly from the point source through the optical center of the lens. The third ray will pass through the focal point on the same side of the object until it hits the optical axis of the lens. Thereafter, it will travel parallel to the principal axis. The point at which these light rays converge is where the image is formed. With this in mind, let us now examine the images formed when the object is placed at different distances from the lens. An easy way to remember this is when the object is placed at 2f or 2 times the focal length of the lens. When the object is at 2f, the image formed will also be at 2f and the image size will be the same as the object. The image formed will be real and inverted. When we move this object further away from the lens, you will notice that the image follows in the same direction, but it is now diminished. The opposite is true when we shift the object closer to the lens and the image moves away. Here, all images on this side of the lens are real and inverted. You will notice that when the object is placed exactly at F, the light rays passing through the lens will be parallel. This is a scenario seen in a spotlight, where the point source of light is placed exactly at the optical center and a parallel beam of light shines on the actor standing on the stage. Now, when the object is shifted between F and the lens, the image formed will be on the same side of the object and this image will be upright, magnified and virtual. This means that the image cannot be caught on a screen. This is a scenario that is seen in a magnifying glass. Now let us recap what we have learned. When the object is placed at a distance greater than f, the image formed will always be on the other side of the lens. It will always be inverted, both vertically as well as laterally. And this explains why the word at the start of the video was inverted. When the object is placed between f and the lens, the image formed will be on the same side as the object. It will always be virtual, upright, and magnified. When the object is placed exactly at f, no image will be formed because the light rays that pass through will be parallel. If you would like to try out the app shown in this video, please check out the link in the description below. In addition, I would strongly recommend that you draw the light rays from first principles for every scenario shown here, so that you can cement your understanding of this topic. Meanwhile, do continue to explore and experience science. See you again.